Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty. We do everything beauty and makeup and that includes beauty subscription boxes. I personally subscribe and pay for a few makeup beauty, bo beauty subscription boxes every single month. I think four or five total and I'm excited to unbox this today's subscription box. It can be hit and miss, but lately it's been a pretty good value. I will say that the choice items this month weren't the best, and I'm talking about Ipsy slash BoxyCharm. I never know what to call this because it says both on the website. This says Ipsy, this says BoxyCharm, and on the website in the app it says BoxyCharm. So I'm going to call it Ipsy for the sake of today's video, but this is essentially the Ipsy BoxyCharm or the base box. This is around $30 per month. You get five full-size items and you actually get to select three of them so you'll have a list of items to choose from and you get to pick three that you want in your box and then the other two items come directly from ipsy and they are based on your profile allegedly allegedly they look at your profile and send you items based on that so five full-size items for thirty dollars per month like i said the choice items this month weren't the most exciting but the two items that ipsy is sending to me look really good so i just can i can pull up the Ipsy app on my phone, see everything in my box, go over all the products and I'll let you know how much they're worth. And then at the end of the video, I will pop up the total value of my box versus the $30 that I paid for it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because I, un I unbox lots of beauty boxes every single month and I upload several new videos every week. Down in the description box, I will link Ipsy Boxy Charm if you're interested in subscribing as well as, as my other favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup up that I'm wearing in today's video if you would like to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands, and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let's unbox June's Ipsy Boxy Charm. So there is a little magazine pamphlet in the box. It says sunny days ahead a little bit about some of the potential products in your box, things that you can add to your cart, and a sneak peek at what's going to be available in July's box. So as always, let's start with the two items Ipsy selected for me based on my profile. First up is from First Aid Beauty. Now, I love First Aid Beauty. Right now, I'm using their foaming cleanser. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. I looked it up because I love it that much. I wanted to repurchase it and they discontinued it. But you, I might be able to find it at stores like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I'll definitely be keeping my eyes out. But they gave me a First Aid Beauty product, which I'm not mad about. This is the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer with Sunscreen SPF 30. So perfect for summer. I love a good moisturizer. Something that has some SPF is even better. I would probably double dip the SPF. I use sunscreen on my face daily. So I'd probably still put my sunscreen on over this. I live in Arizona. It's 105 pretty much all the time now. So I like to double dip my sunscreen, but this retails for $32. And it says, you know that one beauty product you take with you on a desert island, this is it. This must have moisturizer, delivers all day hydration and sun protection in a single step. It features zinc oxide, a non-nano SPF that helps filter U harmful UV rays and glycerin to help soften and smooth the skin. So I'm excited for this. I do love the First Aid Beauty brand and I'm always happy to get a moisturizer with SPF. And then the other item chosen from me is by Wander Beauty. This is a brand we see all the time in subscription boxes. This is the Wonderlust Powder Foundation in Medium. Thank you for giving me Medium because that is actually what I would have chosen for myself. And this retails for $42. Let me open this up. I am not a big powder foundation girl. I do have normal to dry skin. So I prefer more of a hydrating creamy foundation, but I'll definitely test this out. All of the makeup that I receive will be tested in an upcoming testing new makeup. I do those several times per month, so we'll test this out. The packaging of this is really nice. There is a little puff, and I like that it has a door, so it actually has a plastic piece that opens to reveal the foundation. 
So can you see that? That's a nice feature. Here is what the powder foundation looks like. There is a mirror and like I said, a little puff in here. This says, ready for complexion perfection that lasts all day. This lightweight and ultra fine powder foundation delivers buildable coverage that helps smooth, blur, and even skin tone without setting into fine, settling into fine lines and wrinkles. Infused with ingredients like hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and aloe, it also makes sure to keep your skin hydrated all day long. Now that sounds good because like I said, I don't use powder foundation because I can feel like it's drying, like Sahara Desert on my face. But if this adds hydration, it may be a good option for summer. We want something that's going to stay in place during the summer months when we're hot and sweaty. So like I said, we'll test this in a testing new makeup. Now let's jump into the three items that I chose. So of course, I chose an eyeshadow palette. If there's an eyeshadow palette and I don't already own it, I'm choosing it. And this is the Ace Beauté Mystic Romance Palette. Now I saw on Instagram, I think on the Ace Beauté Instagram, either they're going out of business or Clo they're either closing, going out of business or something. And I saw that they are basically liquidating all of their products, which is probably why this is in this subscription box. But this is a beautiful color story and one that I will reach for. It is a warmed tone, kind of berry toned color story. There is some neutrals in there if you prefer a more neutral look. But I thought that the color story of this was absolutely stunning. And I do like the Ace Beauté formula. I actually own several palettes. We will absolutely be doing a full eye look. We'll swatch this everything in a testing new makeup, but let's read a little bit about the palette. This retails for $38, but is currently on sale for $12. And I always say that I don't know if that's just for Ipsy members or if the $12 price is what you could get this for on the Ace Beauté website. I'm not 100% sure, but it does have an overall $38 retail value. And it says, is your makeup routine in need of a little romance? This gorgeous palette is full of the most enchanting shades, thick shimmery mobs, a deep cranberry and even a golden shimmer to help you create eye looks for everything from brunch to date night. These shimmers look really shifty and pretty. I'm excited for this. Stay tuned. We'll be applying, we'll be testing this in a testing new makeup. Now the next product that I chose, again, the choices this month weren't my favorite. This is actually from the brand Feel and this is a refinishing night serum. Now if I can get a serum in a subscription box, I generally will pick it because serums are pretty pricey. So this allows me to get a serum as part of a subscription box. This says Clean Beauty, which Clean Beauty isn't a thing, but we're gonna roll with what it says on here. This actually retails for $58. So this more than pays for the box. I think that's partially why I chose it. And like I said, if there's a serum, if there's an eyeshadow palette, I'm going to pick it. It says, looking for a serum that does all the hard work while you sleep. That intrigued me as well. Enter this refinishing night serum. It's formulated with lactic acid, a gentle alpha hydroxy acid to help smooth skin and accelerate skin turnover while sugar, derived squalene deeply nourishes. So the fact that there's squalene in here for hydration and then a resurfacing agent, it's perfect for nighttime. So I'm actually excited for this and I was glad to see this as a choice item because out of everything, this is the one thing that intrigued me. And then the third choice item, there was nothing that I was excited about. So I ended up choosing this because it was makeup and I do like to choose makeup if possible. This is actually from the brand Kvos NYC and this is the Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter. In fact about me, my favorite makeup products are eyeshadow palettes and highlighter. So if I could add another highlighter to my massive collection, I'm never mad about it. I have never heard of this brand K Voss. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's kind of a basic plastic packaging. It reminds me of the ColourPop 9 Pan eyeshadow palettes, that type of plastic. It's definitely not easy to open. Ooh, it's pretty though. There is a mirror in the palette and it looks like a duo-toned highlight. So this retails for $28, is currently on the Ipsy app for $10. And it says, want your skin to come alive at night? This silky skin loving highlighter knows all about that. The one of a kind formula packed with crushed minerals, artichoke leaf extract, interesting, and evening primrose oil. Oh, thank God it doesn't smell like rose. Anytime I see the word rose, I instantly panic, but it doesn't smell like rose at all. Adjusts to your skin's undertones and helps amplify your natural radiance. And thanks to ingredients like oregano, rosemary, and lavender extracts, it's like a meal, a meal in a highlighter. It has a creamy feel that applies seamlessly and doesn't 
cake. I'm excited to test this and a new makeup. We'll actually test both of the different shades. This one may be a bit deep for me, but we'll test it. And then we have kind of this pinky lavender. The packaging of this is pretty cheap, not gonna lie. But again, the highlighter, what was it? $20, $28 and currently on sale for 10. So we'll test this along with the eyeshadow palette and the powder foundation in a future video. So let's recap everything in my Ipsy box. So let's talk about the three items that I chose out of for myself. So I picked the Ace Beauté palette, the K Voss highlighter and the nighttime serum. And then Ipsy chose for me the Wander Beauty powder foundation and the First Aid Beauty moisturizer. So we have three makeup products, two skincare products. That's a fantastic ratio. And I chose one of the skincare products. I always say that Ipsy likes to give us skincare and they gave me one, but they also gave me makeup. So this is a really balanced box. And I think this is a really good box. I was a little nervous because like I said, the choices were not my favorite, but I think this turned out to be a really nice box. I'm excited to try everything out. All three makeup products will be in a testing new makeup on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. I will link Ipsy down below as well as all of my other favorite beauty subscription boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video. If you would like to shop this look, I am wearing a Nomad Cosmetics palette. Nomad is one of my favorite brands as well as discounts to my favorite indie brands, including Nomad Cosmetics and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So this month's Ipsy is better than expected.